So I feel I I feel like I'm confused because there's Wait, how do you do this problem? <laughs> okay, first of all, it's 503 prime. Okay. You think I would remember, but I actually don't. This, despite. Wait. Oh, okay. There's a negation thing, right? Like, if if uh, very roughly speaking, if A K mod. 2012 is greater than BK mod 2012. So if I have a good K, then A2012 minus K. Yeah, so they should almost pair up. B2012 minus K mod 2012. Unless. Then it, it should flip the other way. And. The reason is that because what this does is negates the residue, right? So the only time this doesn't work is unless BK is 0 mod 2012. So you want to, and if B times K is 0 mod 2012, but A is not, then you're pretty happy. So we want, essentially want to maximize pairs such that, well, okay, I have to be a little careful. Um, it's also the case that maybe they're equal. And if they're equal, I, I guess you think about it this way. You get one point every time. You can think you... S increases by one. Unless, in the usual case... S increases by two if... BK is zero mod 2012. And AK is non-zero mod 2012. Whereas, S increases by zero if both of them are equal to zero mod 2012. So it seems like you always just want to pick A equals 1. Like there's no reason to never ever pick anything that's not. Like you don't want the AK to vanish. Um, and you want B to have a lot of factors in it. So I think the best case is like A equals 1 and B equals 503. Or not 503. Uh, no, yeah, 503. 1006 actually might be even better. Because then... Yeah, the only case that you lo lose is when k is actually 2000 okay actually k less than 2012 explicitly excluded so ak is never zero and bk is often zero right and then in all the cases where k is odd or divisible by 503 there's nothing you can do about those um is that it How does the it doesn't it doesn't occur in my situation? So I'm gonna take equals one. Uh oh, sorry, just equal. My bad. Uh, just equal. Uh yeah, sorry. So when is a equals? Oh shoot. Uh no, 1005 is relatively prime to 2012, so it's okay. So for k equals one, two up to 1006. Well, for k equals 1 to 1005. And. Da, da, da. Yeah, so. Increases by 2 as often as possible. No cases where increases by 0. S also increases by 1 when k equals 1. So I think if I take 1 and 1006, it will definitely work, and it will give me whatever random number this is. Um, uh, I have to compute the number! Okay, so all the even ones are in my favor, and for the remaining odd ones, half of them are in my favor. Um, so the, all the even ones is 1005 numbers, and then of the 1006 others, there's 1006 over 2. 
So, 1508, I hope. Let's see what's right. Oh, the problem asks for the minimum. Uh, <laughs> well, okay, let's try that again. Uh, <laughs> oh, that's so sad. I found the maximum. Alright, so for, for, forget that. We're gonna take the minimum. Uh, oh no. Okay, so to minimize, this time I want a lot of zeros. And I want to avoid... Oh, jeez. Okay, so what if I take like... A equals 1... So I want this to be true as often as possible. I want this to happen as infrequently as possible. So we want, let's take B equals 1 this time. And A equals 1007, I think is best. So this case happens for, the bad case we get uh, for... Okay, then for k equals 1 through 1005, so s does increase by 0 for all even k, which is about as good as that's going to get. s increases by... For k equals 1006, it should also... And S increases by 1 for the usual cases. So there's no situation where S increases by 2, right? Uh, yeah, yeah. So the 2 case never happens. This is as many zeros as we're going to get. Because you only get zeros if AK equals BK. If A and B are distinct and not 0, yeah, that, that's as good as you're going to get. You can't get more than half of them. Okay, so uh, f of 1007 comma 1 is... I only get... it only happens for the odd k, so 503, I hope. I think it's 502. Which one did I, which extra pair do I have? Uh, 1, 3, wait, what did I mess up? Fee of 2012, oh, mm -hmm. uh, oh, the claim is that, right, I can also get the 503. Oh, shoot. Good point. Okay, so 503... Ugh. Jesus. So I need, I need to nail 503 somehow. So I made this so that they're... No, what? H how are you going to get that to work? Uh... If, cause if A and B are the same mod 503 and mod 4, you kind of die, right? So 1007 times 503 is... 1509. Oh! Mm, no, no. What? Well, okay. F4, 1010. You, you're telling me I want the even numbers? If I use the even numbers, then... Okay, do I ever worry that this 2k shows up? Oh, this goes the other way because we're trying- no, what? I'm 
confused. No, you get now you get K equals 503 and 1509, right? Am I wait? Am I supposed to flip them? Oh, I'm supposed to flip them. Oh, okay. Well, that was a disaster. Uh. So now K equals 503. Okay, so if I take 1010, this B times K is zero only when K is even, which I. No, what? Wait, no, 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 no. Okay, breathe in. Breathe out. Okay, where, what's going on? So, AK is usually equal to BK for even K. For the alt values of K, you get half and half. When K equals 503, it's A is the zero. When K is 1509, oh, okay, fine. <sighs> well, I'm glad I didn't take this journal. <laughs> oh, not careful at all. Whatever you replace k with minus k or twenty twelve minus k, that's the that's the point. Like that's this that's this usual case thing. Like for for values of k, you can get if a k is not b k and also b k is not zero. I'll, I'll put it this way. Idea: If b k is not zero and a minus b k is not zero and k is not equal to one thousand six then either k or 2012 minus k this was the main idea we started with counts against s so to speak and so we want to maximize there's a equals yeah there's a two case but i'm not going to think about it because i'm going to sort of avoid it so this is the case where everything is on fire and so I want to minimize the number of times this happens. I can get all the even case here and I can get all the um, 503 or whatever. Wait, hang on. Did I flip it? It's okay. Oh, sorry, okay. So this is the penalty condition, and this will happen whenever. This will happen as long as k is relatively prime to 2012. On the other hand, by taking this particular choice, four and one thousand ten, um, then this is the only time it happens. So, yeah. So we get a penalty whenever. We we always get a penalty when K is relatively prime to 2012. There's no avoiding that. On the other hand, this choice prevents any other penalties because it makes a it makes AK vanish when K is above 503, and it makes A minus BK vanish if K is odd. This is a good problem, actually. I'm very sad I also got 503. Yeah. All right, we got it on take three. What a day. <laughs> uh, what now? I think what now is I retire. Um, oh, sorry to Gaussian Cyber for me not seeing your mute me request. I will process that now. If you're still here. Yeah, you're still here. Awesome. Okay. What a day.